First, I'd like to thank everyone who liked my Sun Haven content. Super thank you! And secondly, as requested, today I'm gonna give you a tour of my Sun Haven farm. But first, check out my house! It took me so long to get this done, even though I'm still not satisfied with a bedroom. Anyways, everything in this house is purely for aesthetic purposes. So this is the hobby room that I made for Cloud. Next up, let's go to my messy kitchen. I kinda wanted a kitchen in the living room to have some sort of Ghibli vibes. I don't know if it gives up that feeling though. Now let's take a peek at my farm. This is my lovely porch. The flowers are for designs only, so I try to be extra careful in this part of the farm so that I don't accidentally harvest them. Let's go to the cooking shed. As the name implies, this shed is only for cooking stations, which is why it looks so disorganized. I use the pots to make tomato juice and the oven here is for tomato bread. Now let's go to my apple orchard. I only planted those trees because I used to have lots of pigs for making earth fertilizers. But then, I already sold all of my pigs and replaced them with sheep because I can get my crystals from the mines instead. For this part, it's still not done. I plan to put some weapon racks here and other designs too to turn it into some kind of training ground. The line of red roses are for aesthetics only too. It looks great though, right? For the crops layout, I made it this way so that I could easily remember how many seeds and what crop did I plant in. One row is equal to 50 seeds, so here, I remember that I planted 150 tomatoes and 100 sugar canes. Let's go to the garden next. The garden used to have all the different kinds of flowers to produce the different honey. I had two beehives for one kind of flower because I wanted to consume everything in 50s including the different honeys. So it kinda lost its purpose when I already reached 50 consumption on the honeys, so I planted the most expensive flowers instead for more expensive honey, which I then sell. Next is my other orchard. I planted all kinds of trees for making gems to level up my skills, but now that I've maxed out all of my professions, I sell the gems instead, which is why I also need a lot of sugar cane. I planted this row of trees in case I ever needed extra wood for planks, but I mostly get my wood from baby stumps too. Now this fluffy trunk here is just here to be cute. Look at him though, super cute. For my animals, the troughs are just designs because animals that roam outside are actually fed by the auto feeder, and not the troughs. Even if I remove these troughs, my barn animal would still be fed. Lastly. We have the crafting stations. I use the barns to increase my animal capacity and to organize my farming tools. The one with the Sunhaven carpet contains all of the Sunhaven crafting stations like this. And then this one with the Nelvari carpet and snack gun contains all of the Nelvari station. Lastly, this one contains all of the Withergate stations. And that's it for now, thank you for joining me on this farm tour, and if you like my farm, show me some love by hitting that like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on my next video. Bye bye